Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulli and you are watching TubeMain. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Django, the, the framework, the web framework, Python framework on Ubuntu desktop. So we are going to install Django 3, the latest release of Django. And in order to install Django 3, you need to have Python 3 installed on your system, okay? So if you do not have Python 3 installed, go ahead and run this command so simply let's go ahead and first update the system sudo apt update I hit enter type in the password let it update the system core and few third-party softwares as well so once you're done go ahead and clear the screen now let me enlarge the font size so you can see it so if you got uh, like Ubuntu desktop 16.04 and above you should follow these instructions and you will have no issue installing Django 3 on your Ubuntu desktop so first thing first you need to have Python 3 installed on your system if you have not installed it's not available go ahead and run this following command so sudo apt install Python 3 that's all you have to do hit enter say why and then it's going to install once you've got python installed go ahead and check it say python 3 hyphen uppercase v and it's going to give you the version of python that you have installed the second thing now you need is basically you need to install pip as well the pip python package manager so to install it you simply say sudo apt install python 3 hyphen pip now go ahead and hit enter it's going to install this python 3 pip you will have to then press y to continue now once you've got python and pip 3 installed on your system we need to go ahead and create a virtual environment for python development that's recommended by the python community so that's what we're going to do so once you've got python 3 installed go ahead and quickly install the virtual environment package so type python pip3 install virtual env hit enter and this is going to install a virtual env on your ubuntu desktop so i already have installed it now let's go ahead and create the virtual environment so i'm going to create the virtual environment within the same directory the user directory so to create a virtual environment python virtual environment you simply say virtual env and then the name of the virtual environment so i'm going to say env that's going to be the name of the virtual environment you can name whatever you want okay like oops. okay like that so env name whatever name you want you want to give it but this is very common people name it env okay so you simply type virtual env one word virtual env then this then give a space and the name of the virtual environment and this is going to create the virtual environment uh, for, for python 3 also going to install few packages like pip and wheel so now you can go ahead and check you got env here you can see to activate you to simply say source this is like you have to type it source and then the name of the virtual environment so in my case it's env and then you type bin and then you say activate so it's very simple source name of the virtual environment slash bin slash activate hit enter let's clear the screen to deactivate you to simply type deactivate and you are off the virtual environment so but we need to be in the virtual environment and here we can go ahead and install the django 3 framework so simply type pip oops install now here within this virtual environment you don't need to type pip 3 or python 3 if you just say python uh, hyphen v it says python 3 if you just say pip hyphen v it's going to give you the latest version of uh, uh, pip within this directory like the environment now 
let's go ahead and install Django so you simply say pip install Django and this is going to install the latest version of Django anytime you're going to install okay so go ahead and hit enter wait for it and it's going to collect Django download it and install it on your system so here you can see it's installing Django 3 and that's what we are looking for this is the latest release of Django which has a lot of new features you definitely want to go ahead and read the release note and few deprecated ones as well so it's been installed here you can look at the screen installing collected packages SQL parse pids and Django 3 successfully installed these packages here and we are done now if you go ahead and say pip list you'll see you've got few other packages including Django 3 as well so let's go ahead and create a Django project so anything we create is going to be here within this user folder so I'm going to say Django and then this is a command Django admin start project okay that's the one word command to create any project then the name of the project so demo app so just recheck it Django admin space start project name of the project hit enter and it's been created if I go ahead and check where is it where is it demo app here we are so now I need to go ahead and enter in this demo app directory so let me quickly go ahead and open this in the code visual studio code here and let's see what happens so we got everything here mm. now what I need to do I need to clear the screen and simply say manage okay so python manage dot pi run server okay so anytime you run this command manage dot pi you need to add python before it so everything was just fine I can go ahead and run it so going to open the link and this is going to open in the default browser alrighty so here we are so this is a Django 3 you can see here alrighty so that's it for this video thank you for watching this video if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below and I will try to answer it ASAP Thanks again. Have a good day. Happy coding. Bye for now.